Do women ever break up with men because they are acting too clingy? Yes, definitely. Um, if a man is too insistent and too, um, yeah, too possessive, of course a woman doesn't find him attractive anymore and that brings her, it brings her to, to leave him. One of the guys that I do private consultations with recently sent me this text and I thought that it was extremely insightful. I want to read it to you. And to be fair, the more I started understanding women, the more I really started seeing that unicorns don't exist and I'm also becoming less enchanted by women's beauty and purity. I also feel more connected to them, seeing them more like humans. I just love the use of the words less enchanted. That seems like the perfect description. Too often, young men are enchanted by women. It's like they're under a spell, a delusion. Not being in touch with reality is harmful, even dangerous. And while positive, genuine, sincere relationships with women are possible, it's not going to happen if you're still enchanted by them. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to break that spell so that you're no longer enchanted by women. Okay, so every man is born with potential and it takes years of work and study to realize that potential and to become somebody of worth. But this doesn't happen overnight and as men are engaged in this process of creating themselves, they often have this sense inside, this subjective experience of themselves as a being that is incomplete. Often this has to do with childhood. If you didn't experience enough love, care, and attention from your parents, you're going to have this sense of being incomplete. But even if your parents were fantastic, it can often just come from your social group. Everybody wants social approval, but it's extremely rare that any guy is actually going to experience that deep, far-reaching acceptance that they truly crave from their peers. So by the time you leave high school, 99% of guys have this feeling inside themselves that they're incomplete. It's this feeling that says, I'm not enough yet. I need to work on myself. I need to become a whole person. I need to become somebody who is complete. Now, the correct way to do that is to look internally, to become complete inside yourself. You resolve past traumas, you develop a likable personality, somebody who's creative, ambitious, you create a coherent system of ethics and beliefs. But honestly, even as I list all of that off, I'll lose part of the audience because you can sense that that is hard. That is not an easy task to do. Speaking honestly, the task of making yourself happy and having a healthy self-esteem is actually beyond the reach of most humans. That's the truth. It is very difficult to do. The percentage of people on this planet who are genuinely happy is going to be very, very small. And if you're born with intense disadvantages, either appearance-wise or cognitively, it's going to be even harder. And so you have this awkward situation where most men have this sense of themselves as a being that is incomplete and yet when they contemplate everything that they have to do in order to make themselves whole they tremble in fear because they know they're not up to the task so what do most men do they delude themselves they trick themselves into believing that the cure to their feeling of incompleteness can be found in women in this sense biology is absolutely not helpful the average man is just raging with hormones he's flooded with sexual energy and he has this strong biological instinct to have sex with women the reality of all of that subjective sexual desire is that it's just a trick of evolution it's just your biology operating because you've got these genes inside yourself that want to survive they want to get passed on to the next generation and so natural selection has made it pleasurable for us in order to have sex to reproduce it can seem a little bit unfeeling and calculated to describe things in a purely biological sense but that's actually what's going on but even though objectively that's the truth our subjective experience speaks to something completely different when you see a beautiful woman in the distance and you can feel that sexual energy begin to bubble up inside yourself you know you get overwhelmed by this strong sexual desire the idea that this is just biological that this is just your genes wanting to you know, be passed on to the next generation, that seems ludicrous. It doesn't seem to adequately explain our subjective experience. You can try telling yourself that this is just hormones, this is just biology, but what you're really feeling subjectively is that there's this magical, unexplainable, chaotic force that is just driving you towards her. Subjectively, that feeling can almost be spiritual. You know, that sense that she is the missing piece. I'm man, she's woman, we need to you know, connect and unite and become one. I just need to have sex with her. She is what has been missing from my life. I just feel it. This is an accurate description of a lot of young guys' experience. They see this beautiful woman and she seems magical, angelic. She is 
the cure to my problems. She's what's going to make me complete. She's been what's missing in my life. She is everything that I need to be happy. It is that feeling that I'm referring to when I say men are enchanted by women. Because when they're in the depths of all of that crazy desire for her, they are not seeing things rationally. They are not seeing the reality of who she is. They are effectively under a spell, a biological hormonal spell. It's a false belief that makes you think that she can make you happy, but she can't. Let's read that text again. And to be fair, the more I started understanding women, the more I really started seeing that unicorns don't exist. And I'm also becoming less enchanted by women's beauty and purity. I also feel more connected to them, seeing them more like humans. Let's go through this step by step. Look at this first part. The more I understand women, unicorns don't exist. You're less enchanted by their beauty and their purity. The truth is that women are not magical. They're not angels. They're not demons either. They're just humans. Some are better than others. You've got high quality women. You've got a whole bunch of low quality women but there's nothing inherently special about them. Typically what you find is that guys who are still deeply enchanted by women haven't had much experience with them. They're like boys who are still in puberty. They don't speak to girls very often. They just admire them from a distance. Of course, from a distance, when you don't actually have to engage in their personalities, it's easy to imagine them as these incredible, fantastical, magical beings. But you're not seeing the reality of who they are. You're just seeing a projection of your own imagination fueled by your hormones. Like you said in the text, the more you understand them, the less enchanted you are. Guys who have had a lot of girlfriends, a lot of experiences with women, even just guys who have a lot of female friends, they understand that women are flawed, regular beings just like men. The idea that they're magical or angelic is just ridiculous. You could actually call this exposure therapy because if you're lost in the illusion that women are these beautiful enchanting creatures, the cure to that is just to expose yourself to more women and very quickly you will lose that perception. It's one of the reasons why I like featuring interviews of women on this channel because when you listen to women, you actually pay attention to their opinions, you realize they're just regular people. Let's look at the last part of the text. I also feel more connected to them, seeing them more like humans. This is so true because when you see women as they truly are, it actually opens up the possibility for a genuine connection to be made. If you're still enchanted by women, then you're not going to have a real relationship with them because women are extremely uncomfortable with your projected fantasy of who they are. A man who pedestalizes a woman, who idolizes her, is not seeing the real person. How is she going to feel safe around a man like that? What she's looking for in a man is somebody who is confident to successfully navigate reality if he's so out of touch with reality that he's projecting all these fantasies and illusions onto her, how is she going to trust him? He's lost in an illusion and he's basically worthless to her. She wants a real connection. She wants a real relationship. She wants a man to see her for who she truly is. Now, I am not some biological reductionist. I think that the subjective experience of love can be an extraordinary thing but it has to be grounded in reality. You can explain the stars and the galaxies from a purely scientific perspective, but that doesn't mean that subjectively, you can't still stand in awe of this universe. The same goes for women, because you can explain your attraction to the opposite gender from a purely biological perspective, but that doesn't mean that the subjective experience isn't extraordinary, that it isn't magical. Reality is amazing and a high quality man is emotionally mature enough to be able to see that. Sure, she doesn't have the power to magically make me complete, but who cares? I'm a high quality man, I'm already complete. She's a high quality woman, she's already complete. And what happens between two people like that who are already overflowing with happiness and love is absolutely amazing. So if you feel a connection with a woman, an attraction to her, be careful. Ask yourself, is this grounded in reality or am I lost in an illusion? Ask yourself, am I being enchanted by this woman? And if the answer is yes, snap out of it.